What do I do for work? Today, let's take a deep dive into this question, give you some insights as to what my day-to-day -day looks like, and give you some clarity so you can really understand what I do. Let's get to it. What's going on everyone, Dave K here today with a deep dive into the question, what do I do for work? I've received the question a lot lately, Dave, what do you do for work? And I wanna give you a deep dive today into what I do, not just I am a project manager, but more insights into how I sort of came about into this position, what that looks like, and some of the other components that lead to that challenge when it comes to my scheduling and my knowing if I'll be able to continue to work in this way remotely. Let's get to it. So starting it off with back in the 50 facts about me, I think it might've been 50 facts about me part two video. You'll see I did touch on my job, what I do for work. And I said, I'm a project manager, but I've had many friends ask, Dave, can you give us more details? What exactly do you do? What industry are you in? And other questions along those lines. So to give you some insights in that, let me start it off by letting you know kind of how the work that I do works. For starters, I do project management in IT. So a lot of friends ask, what industry do you work in specifically? I work in IT, I do a lot of stuff on the computer, as I've mentioned, because I'm looking at maybe managing different websites or setting up different platforms for businesses. Now, I wanna give you some clarity on how the way that I work works. And the way that it works right now is, I work for a company and the company contracts me two different companies. I'm a contractor, two different companies. I work for a contracting firm and they ship me out to different projects to be a project manager on those projects whenever help is needed on particular projects. So that creates some of the challenge in terms of my scheduling and how I go about figuring out will I be able to work remotely and answer other questions that resonate with that one. I've had the opportunity to work on a variety of different projects. You may have heard me say Salesforce in the past, and I've had the opportunity to look at Salesforce through several different lenses. I've had the opportunity to work on other platforms as well, a lot of data analysis in Excel, and looking at other data and information and making that useful. Now, I haven't always done project management work, and the work that I do now, although I say project management, to kind of simplify it, can be a variety of different types of work. Sometimes I'll find myself doing more process analysis or business analysis work, trying to come up with process improvement solutions for businesses. So a lot of the time, it's based around kind of the merger of technical and business and bringing together those two functions to optimize the success of a given business. So overall, there is a clear picture of what my day-to-day -day can look like and why it can be so confusing and so challenging for me to figure out, am I working virtually? What does that look like? Commuting or anything along those lines, what's going on? Now, I've been fortunate enough to be working on the same project for a series of months now. Since I've been in Florida, I've been working on the same project. And that's a part of the reason why I've known I've been able to work remotely. I discussed with those leading the project or those in need of the project if I had the ability to work remotely and they were kind enough to allow me to do that during this time. That being said, every project I get put on doesn't necessarily have those same requirements, the ability for me to be able to work remotely. And it has been kind of three month initiatives where I've been able to kind of work on different components of different projects for this same company over the course of this past year or so, but that doesn't necessarily mean that's gonna to continue to happen. And especially given the current climate, there are some challenges around that and being able to be sure that I'll have work opportunities when hopefully things don't slow down, but if they slow down. I just spilled hot tea all over myself. Just clean this up here a bit and then we'll be uh, on our way again. Back to it. So numbers and number crunching can be a big part of my work as well. I have to put together information from that team that I'm leading and say, okay, here's how this team is performing. Here's how much of this overall larger project we've been able to get done this week. If we're on track to be able to deliver what you want within that three month time frame, and answering other questions relating to how quickly this technical team is working to be able to deliver on this business need and provide that value at the end of the particular project. 
For me, this can also mean jumping in and doing work myself. So that kind of goes back to that data piece where I'm jumping in, looking at numbers and being able to do work and provide value to those companies. Depending upon the situation, maybe it's looking through a series of numbers and kind of calculating metrics, or maybe it's looking through Salesforce and resetting up different applications or different functionality within Salesforce or other online platforms. A wide variety of projects, but being able to work on those teams and to lead those teams but communication is a big part of it as well. Now, when I say communication, a lot of what I'm doing comes in terms of building out a presentation and saying, here's our status. Here's what we've done so far. Here's what we're working towards. Here are some of those challenges that have come up, or here are some of the questions that we have. A big piece of what I do is making sure that people align on what's going on. If I have a bunch of people that have different perspectives or different initiatives on a larger picture, I want to make sure that I'm bringing those people together to have them all say, yes, I agree with you. I think we should go in this direction on that particular piece so I can get those questions resolved that way. Or if they don't have an answer to those questions, we can try a solution, but we also have kind of noted that or we flagged that as something that could potentially be a risk or a challenge as we continue to move down the line. So to give you an idea, kind of what that larger project management stuff looks like is kind of tracking any of those challenges, coming up with adjustments as they arise, because a lot of the time you discover things over the course of the project that you weren't expecting at the beginning of the project that end up being challenges that you need to address. Now, again, that larger company that I work for is based in San Francisco. So that's why I say I may need to go back to San Francisco. It's not the individual companies that I may do work for, but the larger company that I do work for is based back that way. And that's why I have that kind of saying where mm, you never know when I might need to go back. That also does not necessarily mean, however, I might not need to travel to other places. That might be a perk. You know, if we end up doing some traveling and showing new places with you, be able to share those adventures and maybe on the weekends share some videoing and other content, but I'm not sure. Again, this is just kind of speculation. I don't know what the future will hold, especially right now, given these challenging times. I'm really hopeful that everything works out. I'm continuing to be able to work and be able to work remotely, but truthfully, at the end of the day, there's no way to know. Now, you may also ask yourself, Dave, how did you get into that type of work? Have you done that sort of work before? Have you been doing that since you graduated school? And honestly, I've done too many different types of work throughout my life, I must say, to be honest. Now, it does help to be able to take a variety of different types of work. You can kind of apply those to a variety of different types of work as well. So if I find myself maybe doing process improvement work or I find myself doing project management, I can tie in all those different experiences that I've had to allow me to be more successful in that new role. But no is the short answer. I haven't always been doing that sort of business work, project management. Instead, I've worked a wide variety of different jobs in the past. One job I've had in the past is working in IT itself as an individual contributor in the IT space where I'm responsible for fixing computers, fixing printers, network connection, installing new software, and working in ways that help support IT infrastructure for a larger organization. Now I can take that IT work, for example, and tie that into, let's say, an RA experience where I have the experience working with people, leading events and bringing people together, helping them understand what's going on in the community or what their goals are, what our goals are as a larger community when I'm an RA. And I can take kind of those two separate jobs, the IT work that I've done in the past and the business work that I've done in the past to kind of move in that project management direction. So that's kind of part of the reason that I'm able to move in the direction that I have today is taking the different experiences that I've had in those different industries, bringing them together in a way that aligns to this type of work. That also doesn't mean I'll be doing this type of work forever. You never know what the future might hold, so things may be subject to change. But if you hear anyone ask, Dave, what do you do for work? Feel free to send them over to this video. And if anything changes, I'll be sure to let you know. But I'm not envisioning anything changing for a while. Again, hopeful that things work out in terms of the remote perspective and being able to continue to work perspective, especially during this time. I am very worried about that in the sense that I don't know what the future will hold. There's a lot of kind of cost being reduced from a lot of companies in the sense that work has to be deprioritized because that other income is not coming in. So I can hope and cross my fingers, but I can't know for sure. So what do you think of this video? Have I answered the age old question, Dave, what do you do for work? I went in depth 
into what I'm doing for work. So hopefully you found this one useful. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. If you liked it, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and let me know you liked it. And of course, if you haven't already, consider hitting that subscribe button right there and ringing the bell to stay informed of future adventures, always trying to answer your questions and come up with whole new creative adventures to share with you. I'm excited for some of the videos I have coming in the coming days here, so keep your eyes peeled for those. I hope you enjoy them as much as I do. And that 10K celebration song, hopefully, is right around the corner. Thank you all again so much for being a part of these adventures with me. I can't tell you how much it means to me to be able to share fun adventures with you and just be myself and express what I'm interested in and excited in with you. So thank you so much for being a part of it with me. And until next time, play on. What do you do for work? And I've been seeing this question come up and up and up over again. And I know I've mentioned...